Hi, this is uh, Neil Peacock with uh, PingPod, and we've had a request to show one of the PingPods uh, dual booting, so I'm going to make that video. Uh, probably take a minute or two here to run through both, but uh, here is the PingPod uh, 1000. Let's just see the whole thing sitting here. Uh, and so this is it booting up into Android. Uh, there's no card in the slot right now and so we've got Android on the onboard flash and it's going to uh, boot into that first so I'll just be quiet here while it uh, boots on up oh, that's faster than I thought okay there we go so Android uh, 4.0 this is the stock system here and let's see you can see everything on here. All right, so now we're gonna take our SD card and put it in. Let's see. And when we reset, it will boot on into Linux. So now the screen's gonna be dark at first. Uh, there's no early stage bootloader to show a loading graphic or anything uh, when we're working from the Linux image. So uh, that's one of the pieces that's closed source uh, from all winter. So we don't have that. But as soon as the kernel comes up and we get a uh, frame buffer module active, there we go, uh, then we start having you know screen output here. And so... I'm not sure which image this is. This is actually KDE, one of the test images I've got on this card. And so, put that on up. But uh, that is our PingPod 1000 uh, dual booting. And that's how easy it is to swap back and forth. And so, you can see we are uh, here in Linux now. So, there you go. I hope you enjoyed our demo. Please visit us at uh, pingpod.com or indiegogo.com slash pingpod for our pre-orders. Uh, and that's our fundraiser to make the PingPod Linux tablets a reality. Thanks for watching.